Alright guys, so welcome to our video number three on how to create and sell products on Warrior Plus. Yes, yeah, so if you are just joining us, you are just watching this video. This is a three uh, a series of videos on how to on how you can sell products on Warrior Plus. And just in summary, uh, before you can sell product on Warrior Plus, you need to create a product. Now, when you create a product, you also create an offer. To create an, a product there's a video under this um under this under the description check on the descri description section you will see the link to create a product and then also you see a link the second video which is to create an offer so this is video number three on how to link your products page and then your offer page which will now make it possible for you to now sell on our plus so i'm going to show you how to do that so from where we stopped in video number two, and this is where we stopped on creating an offer, we can see our offer is set up, how to get cash on demand on the rated method. So the, oh, this offer is not yet active. So in order to use this offer, you must first add at least one button. So I'll just head over here and then click on add a product. Good, so I'm going to select from the list of my products. So which is this, get cash on demand. And then I'll go next, and then uh, the commission rate is 50% as I've um, done earlier on. So the next thing is, do I want uh, do I want to bump commission? Do I since I'm aligned affiliates to promote this product, I want affiliates to promote this product. I'm going to give them 50% of my earnings. So that means if I want to increase their, uh, you know, I want to increase their commission, I can just come here and switch this button on, and then we'll be able to. I'll be able to give them higher percentage higher percentage but i don't want to do that so you can just leave it like that so this section do you want your buyers for anyone who buys your products get cash on demand do you want them to be auto approved to promote your product so if yes you can just click on this button and then yes but i don't want them not all of them are actually promoters so just leave it like that and then just click on save so once you save it's going to update your offer page and then your products will reflect right at this side of your that is simple it's not hard it's not difficult this is something anybody can do if you watch the first video and then you watch the second video that which is setting up your offer page and then now the third video on how to link your products together with your offer page so you can see here you can see our products it's now linked to our offer which is the main page and for you for, for your information this is the front end offer yes the front end offer so if we have a higher price product then we can now come here and link it as an upsell yes they call it upsell for instance i'm selling this course i think yes nine dollars nine dollars so if i have another product i want to sell after a customer buys this it's called an upsell so i'm going to add an upsell that means a customer can buy if it's a training or a one-on-one -on -one training or a coaching so i can add an upsell which would be maybe sixty dollars seventy dollars or hundred dollars or any amount higher very high and if in case if someone doesn't want to buy a course then you can still you know make the person uh buy buy you can give a discount which is called a down sell a lower price product or the a discount on the upsell you cannot give a a, a discount which is called them um, which is called the down sell offer so that's what it is very simple so now once you have linked your products to your offer page you simply wait for it to be approved you just click on submit now i've submitted mine already so you just come here and then you see a green green button here so you just submit now you will see something here which is activate offer you uh, you you can't uh, okay this offer is not yet active in order to use this offer you must first activate it and set the start date i would advise you don't activate the offer yet just leave it until when you are approved so once you are approved you can now come here and then set the um, you know, set the date that you want your products to go live so until then you just have to wait until you know uh warrior plus we approve your products so uh, now the next thing now is once you have left your product you have linked your products um right here the next thing is you want to add a payment button yeah a buy now button to your sales page so what you do is very simple just come over here to click on get code so once you click on get code it's going to generate a an interface will pop up like this 
So it is this interface, this is where you generate your payment button or your payment banner uh, yeah, on your sales page. So if someone wants to buy your product, they need to click on your payment button, something like this, so you can see. So my product cost 9.95, so you can see. So anyone wants to buy this, we just have to go through my payment button. So it's very simple to set up. It's very simple. It's not. There's nothing difficult about that. So you can just come here and choose. The, you know, you modify it according to how you want it. This is the flat design. Flat design. So you can also check and check it. This is a clean design. It's going to change now. Let's see the clean design and see yeah, clean design. Let's see. Yeah. So you can. See, this is clean design. So you can also use pixel only. You can change the color to from yellow to yellow. You can change it to orange, red, silver, uh, black, blue, green, uh, whatsoever. Any color you just want your uh, buy now button to look like. So you can see this is red, but mostly this is what um, majority of marketers use, and this is what the public have, the public have actually uh, you know are familiar with. So you leave it as yellow. So you can actually change the text. This add to cart. You can change it. Maybe you can put um anything. You can customize it to your own taste. But most times people use add to cart and then they use buy now. So if you want to put border around your button, you can put border. You can either use a black uh, border just around your buy now button. You can see which is making it look more appealing. Or you can just change the border and then you use a red border so you can see so most times i use black border so once i have that set up the next thing is your background depending on how your sales page looks like how your sales page looks like if you are putting your binary button on a white white background like this so you can use a white uh background background white background but if your sales page you want to put your payment button on a uh, background that is, uh, you know, something like this, you can use a transparent background. I'm going to leave my own as white background. So the price, do you want the price to show on your offer? Yes, you're just going to click here. It's mine. It's clicked already. Do you want uh, support and payment options like Visa, Mastercard, PayPal to show? If you want, you also click it here. You make sure you also check it out. Yeah, so it's checked already. So if you, and then this now is, uh, you know. If you want your payment button to have, uh, you know, something like urgency, like two more copies left, three more copies left, four more copies left, then you can use this hurry up. Now, it will not work if I click on it because I did not set it up in my products page. Remember where I was set, um, setting up the regular price and the sales price, so I actually did not want to use a, 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 a regular price. And I didn't even go with uh, maybe two more copies left or three more copies left for a, for a social price to increase so i'm just going to uncheck it and then leave it like this so the next thing is i'll just come here and then grab you see i'll just come here and double click and then copy or copy my link so this is my code i will head over to my sales page this is my sales page you can see i've added it already and then i'll just come here and then look for where you want to put it in your own place to us in your own web sales page and then i'll simply paste it so once I've pasted it, you can see. So this is my, oh, this is this is large. This is small. I don't know what's wrong. Let me see. Let me re-add. Uh, so I'll just come here, then I'll click on HTML. Now this is going to be different depending on the kind of um, page builder you are using. I'm using KaiView. I use Kai. Okay. No wonder I'm using um okay I don't use this I'm using the clean so I used to use flats so I'm going to change it to flats so I just copy and yeah I'm going to copy and paste this is I love this so I'm going to just add this yeah so yeah so this is more okay and then any other place I'm going to change this as well. And then uh, now you can see here now if you want to also add links payment button links link so you can just come click on the payment button right here and then you right click and then copy link not image not image link copy link address so once you copy the link address you can now 
insert it anywhere for instance if you want to add link uh, on your any of the links here, any of the text here you just do it as normal so i want to add links on this button i'll just come here and then i'll click on the link add the link right here Then I think I have one more, so I'll just scroll down and then I'm going to add the link right here again. So that's all. I'm going to save my uh, save my new my modification. So that's how you go about you know linking your products to your offer page. And once you link your product to your offer page, then it means you are all set. You can close this. You don't need about this a tracking link if you want to track. Uh, your conversion on your sales page through your own link you can just track here if you want to track any other thing if you want to promote your own product you can just put some settings and then track give it a code and then you can do some other things there. you can play around and understand how it works so now we have generated our code so you can actually even check you can come here and click here and check if your settings if your sales page is well set up with your payment button so you can see buy button link you see so it is found so it is well set so your sales page is set up properly you can see so i'll just leave it like that so that's all so that's everything you need to know about that so in the next uh video okay uh, what next let me see um i think that's all is there another thing yeah that's all. i'll show you how to link your payment button and I'll show you how to, I told you how to create an upsell. So that's all about that. So if you have any question, you have anything to ask me, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So you, after you have done everything, you just wait for, I think, 48 hours for two days. Yes, after two business days, two business days, you will see here that your offer has been approved. And in fact, you can start selling to your list. Uh, but then or you can start selling anywhere privately but once it's if, once it is approved uh, then you can now come here and then activate your offer to go live so i'm going to make a video later on once the offer has been approved so that would be video number four so thank you very much for watching my name is john anavi have a wonderful night day enjoy the rest of your day bye bye